Ross, congratulations. You don't do things the easy way here at the World Grand Prix, do you? I don't think I do things easy full stop, do I? You know, I had to win one game to um, get here for a start last week in Belgium. So, you know, my family are always pulling their hair out with me and just say, can't you do it halfway through? But obviously not. 1-0 down in sets, 2-1 down in that second set. At that point, what's going through your mind? Um, to be honest with you, I'm throwing absolute rubbish and I'm just thinking, just just kick in. You know, Andrew wasn't at his best and thankfully, you know, um, but Andrew's such a good player and he, he's just come off the back of uh, another Euro final. So, you know, I knew I was up for, up, up for a big game. Um, but, you know, it's just the double star is... is it's anyone's really. On the double star, obviously, you didn't know you were here until so late, so the prep time compared to everyone else is, is minimal. How do you get around that problem? You just carry on as normal, I think. I'm, I'm not too sure. Um, I just, yeah, I've gone home for the week and I've just carried on as normal. I've thrown a bit more at uh, double 16 nine, and then treble 19, but you know, at the end of the day, um, all year long we're, we're, we're throwing darts full, full time and you just got to crack on with what you what you know best, you know, and just do as do as best as you can. What was it like for you going into that last Euro tour, knowing that you were just outside <laughs> and that it was in your grasp and in your hands? And that one game was there so much extra pressure on that yeah, game. Yeah, it's massive, and it's not just massive because of um, obviously being here. I, I want to be here more than anything. I want to be in every single TV event, but you know the the money that the PDC have put now on on the table, you know you can't. <sighs> When you're looking at it and you're playing a game there for the amount of money it's worth, it's it's incredible and it's a game of darts at the end of the day and the PDC have have put that there and it's amazing and you know I think every player is grateful for the, the money side of it but you know yeah you just it, yeah. It's been an up and down year for you. I know you keep saying it. We've seen your A game is up there with the very best in the world. What do you have to do to go to that next level now where we see that consistently? Like you just said, consistent. That's what I've got to be, is more consistent. I know I can beat anyone, and that's no disrespect to any player out there. You know, I know I can beat them all, I have done, but I know they can quite easily smash me to bits on the board. It's it's just a, uh, to me, I look at every game as like it's a 50-50 game. I'm not bothered about who I play, um, but I'm sure when they play me, they're probably not too bothered either. It's, you know, the game is that good now and the standard is that solid. You just go up there and do your best. And I, I just think every day's a different day and do your best but for me I need to work harder on the board back at home fitness wise as well keep fit especially young lads coming through but yeah consistency is the key I think awesome. congratulations cheers mate thank awesome. you how proud are you of the way you dug in tonight against the player who came into this in massive confidence after a year or two of life? yeah I think I got lucky to be fair Andrew missed um, a few doubles in that uh, second set or third set I'm not too sure a um, bit blurry to be fair but um yeah, I dug deep and I didn't play the greatest, but again, Andrew didn't, even though he's a quality player. Um, but it's just the way the game is, especially at a double start, I think it's anybody's in a way. The chance now to go one step further than last year. I know that defeat today from the two sets up will have hurt last year. Yeah, thanks for the reminder. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, it is what it is. And uh, yeah, I feel, again, I'm not bothered. I was just saying there, I'm not too bothered about who I play. It's just, I think it's uh, my own mental battle to overcome, um, I think every player is, you know, in the PDC. There's no idiots. Let's face it; they're, they're all great players. So it's just about your performance and how you prepare and on the day. Looking good in the rankings, obviously confirmed in the top 32. Now you're looking to be seeded for the Worlds. Have you got any specific targets in mind? To win it. And my targets to win it, win the World Championship. Do a Rob Cross or do a Dimitri as he won the World Match Play, or you know that that's. That's the goal for I think any dart player. I'm not going to sit, you know, sit here and go, yeah, I want to be in the last 16 or quarterfinals. I want to win it, and and I'm good enough to beat any player. And again, that's no disrespect to any player, but I just think it's uh, it's on the day and it's consistency, and that's the, the biggest thing I need to work on is stamina and consistency. Cheers. Ross, right, you mentioned about fitness earlier. Is that a big thing for you? It seems to be coming more prevalent in, in the world of darts. Yeah, I've slacked off in fitness to be fair a bit late, uh, a bit late. But um, you know, I, I'm funny enough. I wrote a little plan down uh, on the way here, and um, yeah, I'm going to stick to that when I get back home. Like I say, I've got a new lifestyle and a new routine. So, but I think it's really important um, 
with the travelling you do and bearing in mind I'm, I'm not in that top 10 Premier League where them lads are travelling constantly so um, I find it difficult let alone what they do and I think the young lads coming through is just yeah you, you've got to have the stamina and the fitness it's not like a, the game was 30 years ago when you're on the tour as well, obviously you're, you're out most weekends, whether it be on the Europeans or the pro tours, it's an important mental space as well, isn't it, to get away from the darts, you're not just on the board. Yeah, without a doubt, you know, you've got to uh, enjoy it and have a bit of fun as well. Um, you know, all the lads know each other inside out and uh, I think they all get on, we all have our little groups and, and things like that maybe, I don't know, but yeah, I think everyone's pretty chilled out and just uh, gets on with life as best as they can. You know? Cheers. Cheers.